Central Park. For more info, log on to CBS.com. Marley Matlin and Jeff Daniels in Hallmark Hall of Fame Sweet Nothing in My Ear, CBS April 20th. Okay. Okay. Bye. <coughs> Who's on the phone? That was Margo. She wants to throw our engagement party tonight at her house. Yesterday she was in a rush to stop us from getting married. Now she's in a rush to throw us a party. What gives? Is she afraid that one of us is going to get cold feet? No, I think it's more that the Oakdale PD will only give her one night off a week, and this is it. Why? Do you feel rushed? I was ready to marry you yesterday. Oh, wait. I almost did. Thank you for yesterday. And today. And tomorrow. <laughs> No, we have no time for this. Uh, Margo said she is going to round up the usual Hughes suspects, but it is our responsibility to get the snipes. Uh, no problem. Okay, so <clears throat> I figured since we have to take this morning, we could split up the guest list and invite people on the way to work. Okay, uh, Evan's out of town. She can't go. Holding Lily around, so why don't you talk to them? Okay. Uh, I'll talk to Jack and Meg, unless you want to be the one to talk to Jack. Carly, feeling better, headed for the station. Call you later. That's not good. I wonder if there's something going on he doesn't want me to know about. Look who's back, second time in two days. <laughs> Don't ever want to plot at once. You know, Jack, you keep showing up here, we'd have to put you back on uh, duty. I feel great. Time to yeah. ease my way back into the job. Doctor <gasps> said I could take things at my own pace. Great try, but I'm not putting you on a case until your medical leave is officially over. And I know you're kind of a by-the-book guy. Last couple of weeks suggest otherwise. All right, I'll bite. What are you doing here? Sitting at home on my donkey is really boring. Oh, so you rode your donkey down here to be bored, did Come you? on, it'll give me a chance to catch up on the latest news. What did I miss while I was away, hmm? Oh, that is such a lame effort. You didn't come down here to find out if Ruiz got his promotion. You came down here to get the latest news on Katie and Brad. So, here's the latest news. The engagement is back on. Okay, zoning commission, here we are. Yeah, yeah, we, uh... We go in, we unveil our fantastic plan for the Snyder family farm development, and they ooh and ah and rubber stamp it, and we're in out, what, 10 minutes, right? No, no problem. <sighs> wow, if you are faking being this confident, you must be scared stiff. How much do you have riding on this? Oh, deal? just my personal reputation with you and your family, uh, and the entire financial future of Worldwide's nascent real estate development division. And how much, how much did you enjoy kissing me yesterday. <laughs> Eyes on the prize, pal. No personal talk until we pass the commission. Strictly business. OK. Remember. Here's a strictly business question for you. It's time for the zoning meeting. Where the hell's your contractor? I'm not even kidding. Where's Mike Kaznoff? Excuse me. Hi. Do you know where I can find Katie Peretti? I haven't seen her yet this morning. Do you know when she is supposed to come in? The call sheet says now, but you know how it is. Her cutie pie co-host is keeping our Katie plenty busy. Why would I want to invite Jack? He's your brother. Well, I just thought you might want to be the one to break the news to him. No, I don't need to. You can handle it. You can ask him to be your best man? No. Why not? I would be fine with it. No, no. He didn't ask me to stand up for him when he was the one marrying you. Turn around, fair play, all that stuff. All right. You two work it out. I mean, I didn't mean to bring up a sore subject. It's not a sore subject. I'm fine. I'm marrying you, so Jack's going to be part of my life. It's a little weird, but we can make it work. That's Oakdale. Even Dr. Bob was married to a pair of sisters, so if he can make it work, so can we. I'll go make nice with your brother. I gotta go. We'll see you at work, okay? Take care, Mrs. Snyder. 
I'm just checking to see how it sounds. Turns is sponsored by Advil PM. Less time lying awake with annoying aches and pains, more time asleep. I'm doing my own sleep study. Advil PM or Tylenol PM. Here we go. Middle of the night, awake, asleep. The Advil PM guy is spending less time lying awake with annoying aches and pains and more time asleep. Now this guy should do himself a favor and switch to Advil PM. Maybe you should switch too. Advil PM, the difference is a better night's sleep. Prescription drug prices. Everyone's talking about them. But now we can actually do something about them. At Walmart, the prices are unbeatable. Over 300 prescriptions are just $4. $4. Imagine that. Save money, live better, Walmart. Crisp fudge cookies filled with our creamiest slow-churned fudge covered in smooth, rich fudge. Wow, crispy and creamy together. Think we've made enough? Oh, I think we're covered. New fudge-filled cookies from Keebler. Meet me, Meg. I've got osteoporosis, but I'm an on-the-go kind of woman. So when my doctor told me about Reclast, the once-a-year IV osteoporosis treatment that can help protect me while I'm on the go for an entire year, it had Meg written all over it. My doctor said once-a-year Reclast can help re-strengthen my bones to help make them resistant to fracture for 12 months. The thing about Reclast is no other osteoporosis treatment is approved to help protect from fracture in more places. Hip, spine, even other bones. You should not take Reclast if you're on Zometa. Have low blood calcium, kidney problems, or you're pregnant, plan to become pregnant or nursing. Take calcium and vitamin D daily. Tell your doctor if you develop severe muscle, bone, or joint pain, or if you have dental problems, as rarely job problems have been reported. The most common side effects include flu-like symptoms, fever, muscle or joint pain, and headache. Ask your doctor about Reclast, year-long protection for on-the-go women. Yoo-hoo! Progressive shoppers, safe driver's discounts are yours for the taking in aisle three. Safe drivers save money. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. Attention, progressive shoppers, introducing new pet injury coverage. Now when progressive covers your car, we cover your pet at no extra charge. Arr. That's a cat. New pet injury coverage. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. The world can be a beautiful place unless allergies are giving you itchy eyes. Reach for Pat a Day Solution, the only once a day eye drop for treating itchy allergy eyes. The most common side effects include cold or sore throat, blurred vision, burning or stinging. Wait at least 10 minutes after using Pataday before putting in contact lenses. Ask your doctor about Pataday solution. CBS News, experience you can trust. This house guest escaped from multiple evictions. Oh my God. Can this Houdini wiggle out of this one? You're going to see me win this game. Big Brother Live, CBS tonight. Right, and Katie, you're going through with it. That's great. You want to try that one more time with feeling? Just out of the hospital, Margo, I'm not up to jumping for joy. Mm -hmm. But if marrying Brad is what Katie wants, I'm happy for her. Listen, I had my doubts about it, too. But y you know, Katie, when she gets her mind set on something, she up and convinced me that she loved Brad, and Brad is what she really needs to move on. Speaking of moving on, how are you and Carly? All right, Jack, let's be logical about this. Why would you take off without telling me? Are you afraid that I would try to stop you? You wouldn't have. Are you afraid that I'd want to go with you? I would have. Maybe I should call him and see how he's doing now. No, no, no. That would be checking up on him and Jack. Really hates that. He, he said he'd call, and I have to trust that. I can't push this, especially because we're making progress. He says he wants to be friends, you know, and that's better than 
never wanting to see me again, I suppose. And how can I kick this up just a notch? Got it. Anyone here? It's Katie. Hello, anyone home? Oh, Katie? Hi. Hi. I'm so sorry, I just walked in. I oh, no. knocked. No, no, it's okay. I was upstairs with the baby. Can, can I get you something? No, I'm not staying. I actually oh. just came over here to invite you and hold into our engagement party. Oh. Yes, Brad and I are getting married, mm. and Margo's throwing us a party tonight. Tonight? Yes, at her house. And I know it's oh. short notice, but I would love for you and Holden to be there to celebrate oh. with us. Well, congratulations. I haven't gotten a chance to tell you that. I did see Brad announce it on the air. <laughs> and I would love to come. I would be great. Uh, we just have to get a babysitter. You know, you and Holden are kind of my role models in the marriage department, along with Tom and Margo. Oh, wow. Well, don't put us on the pedestal, please. It's, uh, I mean, marriage is have their ups and downs. Yeah. You know that. But I break up and then marry someone else. I'm like a <laughs> serial bride. I understand that. I think, let's see, with the two to Simon, I'm up to six. Six? Yeah. Wow, beats me. Huh. And I'm catching up to Lisa Grimaldi. Oh, a well, sixth time could be the charm. You never know. Cheers to that. Yes. Well, on that note, I hope to see you guys tonight. OK. Hmm. Katie, yeah. have you um, heard from Mike recently? Mike, no, why? Katie's co-host Brad. Yeah, right, I knew about that. Uh, do you know how long they're gonna be busy? They're both due on set soon. If you're in a hurry, you can leave her a message. Uh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm an old friend of Katie's. We've been out of touch lately. Um, you know, I'm glad to see she's doing well. I hope she's happy. I think Brad makes her really happy. So are those two serious? If you call getting engaged serious, Come on, pick up, pick up. Hey, Mike, it's Paul Ryan, and I'm outside the zoning committee meeting, and you're not here. And if this deal gets blown because you're a no-show, you're gonna have a big problem with me. What? I'm sure Mike got the message and the implied threat that went with it. I did not imply a threat. My, my threat was blatant. What happened to the new and improved Paul Ryan? Less zap, more zen? Well, it's hard to be zen about zoning. Well, that's hard to say, too, huh? Yeah. It's, Meg, if those doors open and I gotta go in there and I gotta fly solo, it's gonna be really bad. I don't know what to say. I, I have, I have nothing to say. Oh, well, that's hard to believe. A speechless Paul Ryan, that never happens. Look, you're gonna go in there and you're gonna wow them. You can do this. We can do this. Uh, we just got a note from Mike recently telling us what he's been up to. I thought maybe he was starting to reach out and touch everyone. No, no, I haven't heard from Mike since. No, I haven't heard from him. Oh. How's he? Well. You know what? No, never mind. Mm. I hope to see you in Holden tonight. Have a good day. OK. Meet Erica. Erica! Grand Poobah of pasta. Candy! Connoisseur of cold. Chili! She uses Glad bags, not those pricier Ziploc bags. For the thrifty way to help keep food fresh and handy, get Glad. There's a reason it's called the curse. The curse. The curse. Cramped. <sighs> Fatigue. <sighs> Bloating. <sighs> Had enough? Then switch to Midol. Unlike Tylenol or Advil, Midol wipes out much more than cramps. Midol, reverse the curse. Pop-Tarts can't stand up to the delicious taste of toaster strudel. <laughs> Pillsbury toaster strudel, the one kids want to eat. Venus believes every woman is a goddess of something. Embrace your inner goddess with new Venus Embrace. Five blades surrounded by a ribbon of moisture. Each blade individually adjusts to hug your curves. You get virtually every hair taking smoothness to a whole new level.
Embrace every day, feeling like a goddess. New Venus Embrace. Reveal the goddess in you. Wishing you could put an end to split ends? Start with Pantene Restoratives. Advanced provitamin formulas make hair 10 times stronger and help fight split ends in just one week. The Restoratives Collection, Pantene. This is a pure water filter. Got a great deal on it at Walmart. It can provide as much as 3,200 bottles of water, which can save me up to $600 a year. And if every Walmart shopper, all 200 million of us, bought one, we could keep billions of plastic bottles from ending up in landfills every year. Now that's refreshing. Budget-friendly prices, earth-friendly products. Save money, live better, Walmart. I have COPD with chronic bronchitis, which makes it hard to breathe. But now that I'm breathing better with Advair, I can spend a day with my favorite little camper. For people with COPD with chronic bronchitis, great news. Advair helps significantly improve lung function. While nothing can reverse COPD, Advair is different from other medications because it's the only product with an anti-inflammatory and a long-acting bronchodilator working together to help you breathe better. Advair won't replace fast-acting inhalers for sudden symptoms and should not be used more than twice a day. Lung infections, including pneumonia, have been reported with Advair. Taking Advair may increase your risk for osteoporosis and some eye problems. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking Advair and ask about the risks and benefits of continuing Advair after six months. I love coming here, Grandma. Me too. Ask your doctor how Advair helps improve lung function for better breathing. Find out how to get your first full prescription free at AdvairCOPD.com. What are you doing here, Katie? Is Jack here? No. Why would I be looking for Jack? Carly and I are making progress. Your progress or Carly's progress? <laughs> Mine. Yeah, your slow, steady, sensible <laughs> progress. What's the holdup? Well, you know when a cartoon character has a choice to make and an angel pops up on one shoulder and a devil on the other? <laughs> Which shoulder did Carly pop up on? Both. Both? Oh. Yeah, there's good Carly that swears she's learned her lesson and will never, ever make the same mistake again. Then, of course, there's bad Carly. What did bad Carly do now? Just being Carly. She can't help herself. When I think about all the times she's messed up in the past, she, she doesn't mean to do it, but there she goes. And what's to stop her from doing it again? I mean, how can she stop herself from making the same mistakes in the future? You have really overanalyzed this, but I guess that's what makes you such a great detective. A great detective looks at all the evidence, and that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, great detective, what's your verdict? She's the mother of my children. And? <laughs> What else? There's the obvious. Well, yes, yeah, she's beautiful. But... I could easily find myself falling in love with her again, but that's not the question on the table. The question is, should I fall in love with her again? Oh, Jack, I think that you... Dude, you are a tough man to track down. We need to talk. My precinct is your precinct, Brad. Thank you, sis. <laughs> she loves me. She just doesn't want to get all mushy in front of you. <clears throat> Did she tell you about the engagement? Yeah. You and Katie are back on. It's great. Big time. It's a blowout party tonight at Tom and Margo's, and I came here to personally invite you. Ooh, that was so nice of you. <laughs> well, it's Katie's idea. She's so happy. Well, you know, she wants to buy the world a soft drink and share the love. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that Katie's happy, and I'm glad that you're happy, too. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to pass on the party. Well, if you're not looking for Jack, what are you doing at the Snyder farm? Brad's a Snyder, too. I was inviting his family to our engagement party tonight. Oh! Oh, you, you and Brad are engaged! That's... That is wonderful news. I couldn't be happier for you. Really, I wish you all the best. I believe you. You made the right choice, Katie. You really did. Well, you would know. After all, you and I have disturbingly similar taste in men. You were married to Brad at one time. <laughs> well, the circumstances were, were very different. He was a very different man then. Now he's changed, and as he is now, you two are perfect for each other. Thanks. Actually, Carly, you're welcome to come to the party tonight. Jack. 
Hi. Um, as you can see, the lovely Meg Snyder is here representing the Snyder family. The farmland in question has been in the Snyder family for generations, and they've trusted that my company, Worldwide, will maintain not only its natural beauty, but its ecological sustainability for many generations to come. The proposal, Mr. Ryan, indicates that you intend to use water from the Snyder Pond as the primary source of irrigation. Now, while a pond may be adequate for the maintenance of a family farm, how do you propose to scale it for multiple unit usage? Uh, well, that's a question that's probably better answered by my business partner, Mike Hasanoff, who's just not here. And, uh, well, he's done, you know, a sustainability study that's got numbers and things that, that, you know, would answer that question. But I will tell you this, that Worldwide has given this issue a great deal of thought. And I, I assure you that, uh, that uh, it's, it's all just, it's just going to be fine. Well, I'm afraid that fine is rarely an adequate assurance in these matters. Especially not when it comes from a corporation looking to make a great deal of money exploiting the area's natural resources. We're going to need to see some of these numbers and things before we make a decision. Yeah, well, it's like I said, my business partner, Mike Kasanoff, he's not here, but he has those, those numbers, and I'm sure he could fax them to you, you know, this afternoon. Your appointment was scheduled for this morning, Mr. Ryan. If you expect us to take your proposal under consideration in a timely manner, then we need to see all of the data now. You got it. Sorry, I was late, Commissioner. I was waiting for a final set of figures to come in from the uh, board. One more minute, you would blow them Yeah, I don't worry. It is going to be fine. Mr. Kaznoff, I presume. Yes, sir. I have uh, made copies here for the entire committee. It's uh, environmental protection plan, energy efficiency, wastewater management. I think you'll be very pleased with our suggestions. What do you mean you're going to pass? What? Let, me, let me Google that for you. Oh, yes, it means thanks for the invite, but I cannot. You want to Google sore loser? Uh, you still hung up on Katie? I, would be or what? I mean, how much show you... up at your engagement party? I'm happy that you and Katie found each other. I am, and I'd be more than happy to show up at your wedding. If we decide to invite you. Right, if you decide to invite me, I'd be honored to be there. Don't do us any favors. You know, the day of the wedding, Katie and I, we're going to be so wrapped up into each other. We're not going to notice who's watching that I do. Good. Then I won't put a damper on your wedding or your engagement. You got a point? You are the wet blanket heavyweight champion of the world. And it's probably good that you're being such a chump about this because we don't need a wet blanket tonight. Thank you, brother. Thanks for nothing. Ooh, ouch. That's nothing I haven't heard before. Well, here's something you probably never heard before. Your brother's right. Jack and I would love to come. We wouldn't miss it. Good. Great. Uh, fantastic. Well, then, we will see you both at Tom and Margo's tonight. Sure. Did Katie fill you in? Yes! It's fantastic. I'm thrilled. If she's moving on, then she's going to be out of Jack's life for good. Oh, wait. Don't throw the rice just yet. There could be a major complication in Katie's happily ever after with Brad. What? What kind of complication? Another man that the two of you have in common? <sighs> Mike Kasnoff. And with designated greenways and enhanced water well systems, the Snyder development will have virtually zero impact on the environment. And it's my hope that this development will set a standard for all future developments in Hopedale. Excellent proposal, Mr. Kasnoff. You almost make me want to go out and purchase one of these homes myself. Almost. I must have not have been as thorough as I thought. <laughs> well, I think I, I speak for my colleagues when I say that although the zoning board still needs to formally vote on your proposal, you can be assured of our enthusiastic support. I fully expect it to pass. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you all very much. Yes, thank you very much, sir. <sighs> <laughs> Fantastic job. <laughs> Man, he was just doing his job. You know, you left me hanging in there. I look like an idiot. That was so not cool. I said I was sorry for being late. Yeah, well, don't let it happen again. This is not my first time in front of an advisory board. If they don't have everything they need in front of them, they'll use a misplaced comma as an excuse to kill the whole project. I was just trying to be prepared. Yeah, well, next time, maybe you can be prepared and be on time. There won't be a next time. What? Why? 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Is it is it something Paul said? Because I, you know you shouldn't take him seriously. No. Sarcasm is just his way of saying good job. That's true. I, I mean, you should see the way I look when I'm telling somebody they did a great job. No, it's not Paul. It's me. I'm not going to be supervising the project anymore. I'm leaving town today. A wholesome family meal, you make it fresh and fast. A hot casserole from the oven, and share family times that last. Campbell's hearty chicken and noodle casserole, possibilities. Kohl's grand opening sale starts Wednesday at 8 a.m. Get great prices on your favorite brands, like Chaps, and only at Kohl's, simply Vera Vera Wang. Sheet sets and comforters, too. Kohl's grand opening sale. Kohl's. Expect great things. Sunny D has been bottling sunshine since 1964, so we're going on the road to celebrate with families everywhere. Today, we're in San Diego to spread a little sunshine with our fans. Yeah, who else wants Sunny D? I grew up with Sunny D. Now I buy it for my family. Wow, I didn't know they had an orange strawberry flavor. It's great. Sunny D has a delicious sun-charged citrusy taste, plus vitamin C. Make every day a sunny day with Sunny D. Bottling sunshine since 1964. Thinking about your nasal allergy symptoms? <coughs> Only Nasomex is clinically proven to treat and help prevent most seasonal nasal allergy symptoms. And Nasomex is prescribed by allergies more than any other nasal allergy spray. And it was used by more than 6 million people last year. What is the nasal spray you should ask your doctor about? Nasomex. Well, you already knew that. Side effects were generally mild and included headache, viral infection, sore throat, nosebleeds, and coughing. Ask your doctor if Nasomex is the one for you. taste of Lay's. Uncomfortable. Comfortable. Uncomfortable. Comfortable. Some things in life are just uncomfortable. Going to the bathroom shouldn't be. So when it's hard or even hurts to go, Dole Collect Stool Softener makes it easy again with the number one doctor-recommended ingredient. Dole Collect Stool Softener doesn't make you go. It just makes it more comfortable to go. And it's so gentle, you can use it whenever you need to. Dole Collect Stool Softener. Make yourself comfortable. He took his brother's job. You wouldn't even be here if Dad and Nick were getting along. And that's not all he's after. Stay away from my wife. I had no idea you were this insecure. He only wants you because he sees you as mine. Really? I don't think this guy can be trusted. He's a man with a plan. He knows how to get what he wants. He wants what we have. The Young and the Restless, CBS Weekdays. So we have the clamps. You don't have to be a saint to help kids get fit in their community. Visit unitedway.org. A little you goes a long way. Tonight on CBS 2 Chicago at 7, Big Brother followed by Criminal Minds and CSI New York, then CBS 2 News at 10. Tonight's lineup is brought to you by Back to Bed for the largest selection of Simmons and Tempur-Pedic mattresses go Back to Bed. Have you been suffering from widespread aches and pains in multiple body areas? Like your neck, shoulders, back, pelvis, and knees? If so, you may be suffering from a chronic pain condition called fibromyalgia. That's why we're conducting a medical research study for those at least 18 who have felt this way for three months or longer. To see if you qualify, please call 1-866-999-7474 or visit myfibrostudy.com. 1-866-999-7474. Rise, kings and queens of Narnia. The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian, is coming to theaters May 16th. But you can buy your tickets now at disney.com slash Narnia. Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian, May 16th. All new, next Rachel Ray. I'm pretty good at the gift giving thing. Ty Pennington's hitting the streets for the first ever extreme gift makeover. How old are you? 25. 25, and you made a macaroni necklace for your mother. Next Rach. Today at 2 on CBS2 Chicago. 
Did their broken relationship leave him flat broke? Judge Judy. Criminal Minds, tonight on CBS. Mike, don't. I mean, you can't leave Oakdale. We're all counting on you to make this project come out the way we all envisioned yeah, Mike, it. Mike, we are counting on you. You can't just leave us in the lurch like this. I thought you were a professional. I am a professional. That's why I've already lined up my replacement. He's a great guy. He's totally efficient. He's going to take my plans and execute them. You'll still have all my designs. I just won't be there supervising the project. OK, I don't understand. You just came home a few days ago. What's the hurry to leave? Oakdale's just not home. Not anymore. I get it. This is about Katie. There you are. Oh, sorry I'm late. You had a visitor. I did? Who? He didn't leave his name. Said he was an old friend, wanted to catch up. An old friend? I tried to pump Katie for details while she was here. I don't know if she's playing it cool or if she doesn't know that Mike is in town. But what if she sees Mike, right? Sees him, realizes that Brad Snyder is not the man that she wants to be with. Well, she'll dump Brad for another go round with Mike. As long as it's not Jack, what do I care who her okay. next victim is? All right, it's got to rain on your parade just for a second here. Mike, you must. Yeah, OK, Katie. Katie, nothing is set in stone where that girl is concerned. Well, you know Mike, right? Mike. You think she's over Mike, Kasna? Well, he was the one to leave her, right? So, no, I suppose that she still has unresolved feelings. Right. That's why she bounces from man to man, unable to make up her mind. When it comes to Jack, if I have to, I will make Katie's mind up for her. I will not let her anywhere near my husband ever again. Carly, he is not your husband right now. He will be. Listen, I just ended everything with Katie recently. I hurt her. I know that. I'm hurt, too. Well, you're going to have to suck it up. Oh, come on. We're still raw, Margot. What's the point of pouring salt in the wound? Did it ever occur to you that by showing up at Katie and Brad's party that it would give both of you a chance to acknowledge that the relationship is over and it's time to move on? Did it ever occur to you that my showing up would send a mixed message to Katie? Despite everything I've said, here I am, I'm still interested in you? There's a way around that. You can send Katie the right message if you bring Carly as your date. <laughs> I'm not going to let Katie get her hands on Jack ever again. Okay, let's, let, you know, maybe we shouldn't panic because Katie's going to be uh, trying to marry Brad and her ex-husband's back in town. The girl's going to have her hands full. Mm. You know, I sort of wish that Mike hadn't come back. Why? It complicates the equation, you know? We should leave. Except that wouldn't help you either, would it? Look, the bottom line is, uh, any hope that I may have had for me and Katie is no longer environmentally viable. I'm not going to stick around and watch her and her fiance plan their wedding. I should move on. Well, I get it. And I wish you the best of luck, Mike. No hard feelings? No. Under the circumstances, none at all. Not at all. Look, there's nothing we could have to change your mind. I'm afraid not. I'm going to go back to Worldwide and pack up my stuff. You mean you're leaving right away? Yeah, tonight, if I can. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not going to have a chance to say goodbye to Emma. Give her my best. Yeah, take care of yourself, Mike. I can't believe you let that happen. Now you gone too far. Fig Newtons, packed with that real fruit taste. It's the cookie that thinks it's a fruit. To celebrate our 60th birthday, Miracle Ear is treating people to savings like never before. You can save 60% on one hearing aid when you buy two. Now that's an event 60 years in the making. Now through April 23rd only. Call and visit your friendly neighborhood Miracle Ear location today as we celebrate 60 years of sound with great savings. Call 1-866-607-HEAR for big savings today. Ergonomically designed to hug the curves of your body. 
Kotex pads with wings fit like no other pad. Test drive it for yourself. For your free sample, visit kotexwings.com. Kotex fits, period. You want to play, Rowdy? Your dog's one of a kind. And now you have the power to help significantly extend his healthy years. A groundbreaking 14-year study by Purina proves that puppy chow, then dog chow nutrition fed properly over a lifetime, Ready, Rowdy? can help extend median lifespan by 1.8 laughable, lovable years. It never gets old, does it, Rowdy? Long live your buddy. Long live your dog. Purina puppy chow and Purina dog chow. This is no ordinary carton of milk. It's silk soy milk. I got it at Walmart. Low price, as usual. Each time you buy a carton with the green cap, silk makes an investment in wind energy. And listen to this. If every Walmart shopper, all 200 million of us, bought one, it would equal enough wind energy to power every home in America for two days. Told you it was no ordinary carton of milk. Budget-friendly prices, earth-friendly products. Save money, live better, Walmart. You diet to lose weight, so why not lose more? FDA-approved Ally is proven to help boost your weight loss by 50%. Ally prevents some of the fat you eat from turning into pounds. So instead of losing 10 pounds, you could lose 15, which makes getting on the scale, staying on a diet, keeping up the exercise, all 50% more rewarding. Ally, you have the will, we have the power. Get $10 off at myally.com. Do you know what time it is? Of course I know what time it is. I know. I understand, okay? Your taxes are due in less than two weeks. Look, I don't need the pressure. Fortunately, there's the federal free edition at TurboTax.com. Try a bowl of Trail Mix Crunch cereal and start your day with the great taste of Trail Mix. It's sure to wake up the trailblazer in you. The trail starts here. When the survivor tribes merge, new rivals emerge. The dominate Ozzy will be one of the highlights of the game. Alexis is dangerous. She needs to go now. I think jealousy is coming into play. And with the tide rising, who wants immunity the most? How long could you hold your breath? <gasps> new Survivor CBS Thursday. Two parents will do anything for their child, even fall in love again. Marley Matlin and Jeff Daniel Starr in Hallmark Hall of Fame Sweet Nothing in My Ear. CBS April 20th. You saw how Mike handled the zoning board in there. We could never have gotten approval without him. Oh, so your faith in me just stops as soon as we get to the door to the zoning board? Uh, uh, no, we need Mike. Not just to get the specs in order, but to make sure that this project lives up to everybody's expectations. We can't do this without him. Uh, Mike is really good at what he does. I'll give him that. He's one in a million, even. But even if that's true, then so there are 60,000 other people in the world just as good as him, if the math I just did is right. But look, the point is, he found one of those people for us already. Uh, yeah, good enough for Mike, I'm sure, and good enough for you. Maybe even good enough for Holden, but do you really think this guy would be good enough for my mother? Well, no one ever is, so I'm gonna say no. Well, then I have to tell you right now that if this guy isn't Mike, he's not good for me either. I had no idea he meant so much to you. Mike is a friend of the family. Uh, uh, he cares about the Snyders. You could see how much he respects us by the way he put so much work into this whole project. He cares about preserving the land as much as we do. It's not just another job for him. We can't lose him. All right, so what do you want me to do? Because as much as you want him to stay, it sounds like that's how much he wants to leave. I think he's made up his mind. <sighs> well, so unmake it for him. Okay. Okay. Just make sure Mike stays in Oakdale. All right, whether Mike is here in Oakdale, it doesn't matter because it has nothing to do with you or Jack. Okay, Katie has nothing to do with you and Jack. I hate to say this to you, but the only thing standing in the way of you and Jack... It's me and Jack, as usual. Yes. How are you getting along? Is it okay? He's living in your house? How is that? <gasps> yeah. Yeah, it's okay. He wants to be friends. <laughs> Can you beat that? After everything we've been through? Friends. Friends are nice. Yeah. But he needs friends. A long way to go. And that's why Katie needs to marry Brad, so she's out of the way for good. You cannot force this. 
All you have to do is love Jack and hope he finds his way back to loving you. But right now, I gotta look out after my sister. I'm thinking about Katie. And I'm thinking about Brad, too. They, they need you and Carly to make this gesture to prove that, that the relationship is, is over, that what's happened in the past is in the past, and you've moved on. You make a good point. Well, thank you. I'm considering taking up law enforcement as a career. So I have to apologize to Brad again, try to make things right. And you can do that by accepting his invitation. Jack, come on. Everyone always says what a good guy you are. Can't you be the good guy for my little sister? I mean, a good guy would want what's best for her. You over that. I see Tom's been giving you pointers on making killer closing arguments. Oh, my goodness. Who do you think taught him everything he knows? <sighs> so this old friend that came by to visit me, what did he look like? Oh, nice smile, friendly eyes, tall brown hair, really good looking. Okay, that's not really that specific because you could be describing Brad. Sorry, it's hard to make a picture with words, but I could draw his face. You could draw him? Okay, yeah, I'm really curious. Okay, no problem. Just let me grab a piece of paper and we'll solve this mystery. I'm sorry, I'm looking for Meg Snyder. Uh, try the courthouse at the zoning board hearing. She was there when I left. Thanks, bud. Hey! There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Well, uh, what's wrong? Everything okay? Oh, couldn't be better. Okay, Margo's throwing an engagement party tonight for me and Katie. I wanted to invite you personally. Uh, 7 o'clock, I... Tom and Margo's place. Oh, well, wait a minute. You and Katie <laughs> got engaged? <gasps> That's fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy for you. Of course I'm going to be there. Um, can you make that Mike Snyder plus one? No problem. More the merrier, eh? Yeah. Um, I'll see you tonight. Okay. That was unexpected. Are you inviting me to a party so you can kiss me again? Uh, not exactly. I do have an ulterior motive you? for asking you. Really? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm fond of ulterior motives. See further proof that we're meant to be together. I was hoping my inviting you would put you in a better mood. Well, it worked. So I can ask you again to try and keep Mike in town. Whatever you want. I'll give it my best shot. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, bye again, then good luck with everything. Mike, listen, uh, Meg and I have been talking, and, and we've decided that it would just be a huge mistake for you to leave town right now. You've decided for me? Yes. Look, we really need for you to see this project through, and we'll do whatever it takes to make you stay. I'm pretty good at this. Even worked for the police to pay my way through college. Not a lot of creativity in being a sketch artist, though. <laughs> <laughs> what, the cops didn't like you giving their suspects makeovers? Only the ones who really needed it. <laughs> but don't worry, my sketches got used in court a couple of times, and when I'm done, you'll know exactly who your mystery friend was. Best laundry secret? Baking soda. Today, that secret teams with OxyClean, the stain fighting superpower. New Arm & Hammer plus OxyClean detergent. Number one in whitening. It blasts out stains lesser detergents can. Can yours do this? Try new Arm & Hammer plus OxyClean. It's not about the destination, but the discoveries you make along the way. Now the experience comes to life. In your clothes. Introducing the Downy Radiance Collection with Scent Pearl Infusion. With an embrace, Scent Pearl's release to renew the delicate fragrance. Where will the scents take you? The new Radiance Collection from Downy. Let beautiful feelings unfold. Sleep tight with the new Always Extra Heavy Overnight Maxi. With more front-to-back coverage than any other pad, you get our best overnight protection ever. It's a wish come true. Have a happy period. Always. Herbal Essences brings you another great escape. A new collection of shampoo and conditioners for long hair. With ravishing red raspberries mm. and soft satin. 
grow your hair as long as you want. Shampoo and conditioners for long hair. From Herbal Essences. And get luscious, vibrant color guaranteed. Herbal Essences Color. Crisp fudge cookies filled with our creamiest slow-churned fudge covered in smooth, rich fudge. Wow, crispy and creamy together. Think we've made enough? Oh, I think we're covered. New fudge-filled cookies from Keebler. Your style stands out from the crowd? Go to Kmart.com slash style and you can join these four real women in our national campaign. You could win $10,000 in Kmart gift cards, plus other fabulous prizes. If you've got it, bring it. Go to Kmart.com slash style to enter. Everybody got this something. There's a good move in every box of Aleve. I love to run marathons, and Aleve helps me get to the finish line. I rely on Aleve after I run to take away the pain so I can get through the rest of the day. Aleve, good moves start here. Tonight. There's a serial killer who is making it appear as though his victims are committing suicide. They needed a friend. You think you can help me? You just have to let go. He's convinced he's on a mission of mercy. He killed them. He chooses how they die, when they die. With kindness. You can let go now. New Criminal Minds, CBS Tonight. Jack. Hi. Hi. No, not him. I'm gonna keep working. What was that all about? Just a segment we're working on. It's nothing. So, what brings you by? I'm here to see Brad, actually. Yo, what are you doing here? I've changed my mind. If the offer's still open, I'd love to come to the engagement party. Here's the thing, Mike. I, I know that the guy that you found to replace you with this project can probably read a blueprint and put on a hard hat and point to where all the cement should go, but we don't need somebody that can just follow orders. We need somebody that cares about this project, somebody who has a, a history with the Snyder family and knows how important it is for them to preserve that land. Mike, please, what do you say? Can't you just stick around long enough to see Emma's vision through to the end? Well... I... I would hate to disappoint Emma. And to be honest, I would be afraid to disappoint her. <sighs> See, any other contractor would know Mama well enough to be afraid. So, uh, you are the man for the job. Yeah. And you, you wouldn't want Emma to think that you're some kind of a, a quitter, would you? I'm not a quitter. No, but, you know, if you leave now, technically, she'd be right. Mama's always right. There's really no way around this, is there? All right. Okay, I will stay. <laughs> All right. And uh, you're okay with the terms that we set up before? The same deal? Yeah, you got it. Okay, no backing out this time. No, I made a promise. I'll keep it. Great. Uh, Mike, can I have a word with you? Hello? I'll be in my office. You found out about Katie, didn't you? She's engaged to your cousin Brad? Yeah. How would you like some unsolicited advice? Is there any other kind? <laughs> uh, no, not in the Snyder family. I get what you're going through. I've been through a lot of stuff, too. That's made me see things a lot clearer. Things that maybe I didn't want to see before. You know, when a relationship goes bad before you decide whether you should move on or not, you need to figure out what went wrong in the first place. <laughs> I don't think it would be right if you just ignored it or ran away. Because it didn't really work for me. I tried. Thanks for the advice, Meg. I'll see you later. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, Jack, thanks for being a big man about it and all, but I'm not sure I want you coming to the party because it's going to be the happiest night of my life, and I don't want you sulking around spoiling it. Brad, stop. No hard feelings. Remember, that's what we agreed upon. You two are brothers. If you would still like to come, you're welcome. You heard the lady. I'm all about what makes Katie happy. Well, thank you. So it's okay if I bring Carly, then? Of course. 
course. I hear you two are doing just about everything together these days. Hey. Thank you for convincing Mike to stay. Anything to see you smile. And uh, I've decided, you know, since it's going to be my life's work for the next 50 years or so to make you happy, I have no time to get started uh, with the present. Okay, yeah. okay, well, yeah, don't push it. We're going to an engagement party tonight, not waltzing down the aisle together. Thanks for inviting me. Well, you know, if we're going to make it to Tom and Margot's on time, we better Meg, start getting ready. as much ready. as I would really love to see you all dressed up, or even better yet, all undressed up. Okay, you said you're not going to push it. I'm not coming to the party. It's a family party. It's the Hughes and the Snyders, and let's face it, me showing up, I'm just a big disruption. And uh, we agreed to not push it. <laughs> I've got to hand it to you, Ryan. You're, um, you're making all the right moves these days. Thanks. I'm going to try and be open and honest now. And uh, oh. um, not so underhanded. And uh, I figure that if I'm open and honest about how underhanded I am, then that's not really underhanded, right? And we'll just, yeah, we'll see how that works. Guess you were feeling adventurous today. How are things at the station? Three holdups, four drug busts, and a guy tried to prove his innocence by getting violent. Ah, well, just an average day at the office, huh? <laughs> exactly. You have any plans tonight, Carly? No. No, I was just planning on helping Parker with his homework, keeping JJ away from the video games, and reading to Sage for a bit. Well, I've been invited to Katie and Brad's engagement party. That's right, it's uh, Katie and, and Brad are engaged. I saw something about that on TV. You and everybody else in Oakdale. Uh, my brother went all out. Well, how gracious of them to invite you. Yeah. Listen, I was wondering, would you like to go with me? Katie said it'd be OK. Well, that was very nice of her. I'd love to. Good. Oh, I was also thinking you, you might want to ask Parker if he'd like to come along. You know how crazy he is about Katie. Great. I'll ask him. No overtime today, Chief? Oh, write it down, boys. Not only am I leaving five minutes early, yes, but I'm also going home to throw a party, an act of domesticity. What are you cooking? Cooking, cooking. <laughs> no, no, no. It's whatever the caterer has on special. But I plan on lying and telling everybody I made it myself. Take care, guys. Excuse me, do you know where I might be able to find Margot Hughes? Uh, you just missed her. Chief went home early. If it's an emergency, I could page her. No, no, thanks. It's personal. I'll try her home. That was a great show. Yes, it was. All right, we got to get a move on. We don't want to be late to our own party. And yeah, we got to get this party on the road because we've got to make this engagement official. Oh, as opposed to when you announced it on live television in front of all of our fans? <laughs> All right, that was different. That was different. The people that watch us on TV, we don't know them, and, you know, they really don't know us. Oh, on the contrary. They think they do. Have you read our fan mail? Tonight, I can't wait to tell everyone who really knows us, who really loves us, that I promise to make you the happiest woman in the world. That's official. That's a commitment. You really can be so sweet sometimes. I know it. as the world turns. Sponsored by Airwick.
It's good to be home. You're not going to regret spending the rest of your life with me. Wow, you really are trying to get rid of me, aren't you? I, if I didn't know any better. Who's that from, anyway? It's from Dusty. I have been waiting so long for this. I can't believe it's actually happening. Neither can I. Don't do this if you don't mean it. Stop talking. <laughs> I don't want it to be obvious that I have an air freshener. That's why I use Airwick Hidden Pleasures Scented Oils. Its discreet frosted glass appearance fits in with any decor. And it smells great. Mmm. Boys, are you ready for bed? And now Hidden Pleasures also comes as a nightlight. It's still nice and discreet by day, but lights the way by night, which is perfect for my boys. Airwick Hidden Pleasures Scented Oil and new Hidden Pleasures Nightlight. Airwick, it's good to be home. Everything that goes into each of the 13 different varieties of Mrs. Dash, all those natural herbs and spices, is just as important as what doesn't. No salt, no MSG. Everything that goes into Mrs. Dash is there to make sure that what you get out is nothing short of delicious. Mrs. Dash, salt-free, flavorful. And try the 10-minute marinades from Mrs. Dash. The toothache was excruciating pain. I tried the pain pill thing. When does it kick in? I put the Orgel on my teeth. I immediately felt relief. Orgel, the pain goes away right away. Orgel says to my toothache pain, you're done. The scar from my accident was really bad. I felt like everyone was only looking at my scar, not me. My doctor recommended Mederma to make the scar appear smoother, less noticeable. So now, everyone just sees me. Mederma, skin care for scars. Hair that lacks shine might be damaged. The new Dove Shine Therapy System repairs damage thanks to its unique repairing serum. It leaves your hair up to three times shinier. The new Dove Shine Therapy System. What's that? It's an earthquake! No, it's, it's the new Colgate 360 Sonic Power. With sonic vibrations and a cheek and tongue cleaner, it cleans bacteria from teeth, gums, cheeks, and tongue for a healthier whole mouth clean. Colgate 360 Sonic Power. okay to let messes happen because Clorox disinfecting wipes are now thicker and stronger so they clean what you never thought they could. Sometimes cutting calories can mean cutting nutrition. In fact, half of women lack calcium and vitamin D. Well, now there's a way to help add them back. New 0% Plus from Light and Fit. We've removed the fat, removed calories, but kept essential nutrients like calcium and vitamins D and B2, plus 50% more delicious fruit. Light, but not light on nutrients. New 0% Plus from Light and Fit. Prescription drug prices. Everyone's talking about them. But now we can actually do something about them. At Walmart, their prices are unbeatable. Over 300 prescriptions are just $4. Four dollars. Four dollars. Imagine that. Save money. Live better. Walmart. CBS Friday Night. You've never seen chess like this. Checkmate. You guys are his empire in prison. To solve this case. He teaches his protege chess lessons. Code is within it. They'll have to change the game. We figured out the code. He's going to give an order to kill me. You guys saw him say? FBI. Brand new numbers. CBS Friday. At Safe Auto, we know what it's like, and we're here to help 24-7. Play it safe. Call now. 1-800-SAFE-AUTO.